Hello everyone and welcome to another homebrew update. I'm your host Troy and we have a lot of stuff to talk about, mainly firmware updates on multiple systems, even one firmware update that happened on a system that hasn't had a firmware update in the past more than a year I should say. And also we have some great news for all the Nintendo Switch homebrewers out there, so let's go ahead and jump right into all this awesome amazing stuff. Starting off with the Nintendo Switch, we do have a new system firmware update. It is called 6.0.1 and it doesn't really do anything to break homebrew wise, which is amazing. So, if you guys do have Eminem with the TXOS exploit, I should say SXOS exploit. I hate saying that term. Anyway, if you do have the Team Executor exploits, you can update if you have Eminem. And if you have another program that actually updates your system through that homebrew application and does not burn any fuses, you can also use that. I cannot remember the actual name of it, but I will put a link in the description below for you all. Next up, we do have a new homebrew out there. Well, I should say an update of a homebrew, which is the homebrew launcher. Now, this homebrew launcher obviously lets you run all the different types of homebrew that there are out there. And the great news is now you can use the full extent of the Nintendo Switch's RAM, all 3.2 gigabytes of it. Meaning there are apps that actually will be able to take advantage of this and make them run smoother and also say like game ports like Doom or something like that, that will probably be able to run a lot smoother in the future as well. Same with Retro Arch and a lot of other things. Aside from the official firmware updates and some homebrew that has been updated recently, we do have Team Executor bringing out a beta version of their SXOS exploit. It is going to be 2.2 beta and it does support docked USB which is amazing because then you'll be able to run your games from the actually docked USB or you can run homebrew from it and all that. That way you just have more storage. This also does mean that other firmwares will be able to do it such as Atmosphere and Ray and X. Which obviously also means that you'll be able to get it for free so why pay for something when you can get it for free. So I would definitely recommend holding off on getting anything with Team Executor's name on it and just waiting for Ray and X or Atmosphere to be updated. Lastly on the Nintendo Switch we see an awesome announcement from the ReSwitch team. Atmosphere has been released. It has been a year or more since we have been known about the Atmosphere custom firmware and it has been released with a whole bunch of different features that you're able to use and it is currently in stages 0.7.0 with actually an update that makes it be 0.7.1 that just fixes some update bugs and things like that. Now with Atmosphere, I would recommend you to tread lightly on it because obviously it's still, it is able to be released as a public release but it's still very early in the stages. Ray and X actually bases his custom firmware off of Atmosphere. So, if you are still using Ray and X, that's fine. You'll just see an update with more stuff with Ray and X because Atmosphere has been finally released. Atmosphere does not condone piracy either, so you will not be able to run any of those backup games on it if you are one of those type of people. Moving out of the Switch scene and putting ourselves into the failure of the Wii U. We see the new official update on the Wii U. It is 5.5.3. Yes, there has not been an update in the past year. It's been over a year actually since a new update has been announced and the current update breaks nothing. You are still able to do everything you were able to on 5.5.2 and that's all I have to say about this. Over on the PlayStation Vita side of things, we do have an update from the flow. He did tweet saying that his exploit was broken on the 3.69 firmware that was released, but he did find another way around it, so he does have a way to run his exploit. Now, this exploit will not be released until the end of life of the Vita, so we really don't know exactly when that will be. Well, sometime next year but we don't know exactly when he'll be releasing the exploit. Until then, people on 3.69 with new Vitas, you'll just have to kind of wait. I'm sorry, but you just gotta be patient. And if another update does come out, I would recommend not to update at all. Over on the PlayStation 3, we also see a new firmware update. It is 6.9.3, that is totally wrong. It is 6.83. And it does happen to patch the PS3 exploit that 
the people were using to run their games and things like that and custom firmware and whatever have you. So unfortunately for all you people who have the PS3 exploit and have 3.8.2, do not update. You will not be able to play online yet, just don't update and then you'll be good. For the people who did update to 3.83, he is working on it. The team behind PS3 Exploit is working on it, trying to find a way around it. So that does suck that it is patched, but hopefully they'll be able to find a way around it. And over on the PlayStation 4 side, we also see another update on the system firmware. It is 6.02. And there's really nothing that we know of to talk about. We don't know if it patches anything, we don't know if it helps anything, or anything like that. Because we don't even have an exploit for anything above, I think, like 5.05 or 5.0. I don't know, something like that. We don't have an exploit for the newest firmware, essentially, is what I'm getting at. Now, there are private exploits, I'm sure, and since we haven't heard anything, meaning it probably hasn't been updated or probably hasn't been patched or anything like that for that private exploit which is really good news but it just doesn't mean we don't know when that private exploit will be getting released which does suck but you know you just got to be patient with these things just like with the nintendo switch with the playstation vita and all that you have to just be patient when it comes to homebrew all right guys and that is it for this homebrew update i thank you so much for watching and i just do want to say again thank you because it has been a year since i've been doing this homebrew update stuff which i've been really enjoying and i am sorry for the sporadic uploads and things like that work gets in the way and i'm starting actually college in january so that's going to be getting more in the way as well which is great news though because i'm starting college so that's that's really cool but again thank you so much for being patient with these videos and i do want to say that i am very excited for atmosphere finally being released i am going to try and get myself one of those little jig thingies so i could actually start doing my own homebrew on the switch and also run atmosphere and all that for all you guys who have finally been waiting for atmosphere to be released Please tell me in the comments below, I want to know each and every one of you. For the ones who have already been doing homebrew like Ray and X and Team Executor style, please also tell me in the comments below because I want to know what you think about each of those custom firmwares. Anyway guys, thank you again and I do hope that you hit that like button as well as that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with, with that guys, I shall see you all next video.